Okay, so for those that don't know, let me break down who these two ladies are for you guys. So then that way, it'll make this whole situation make a lot more sense. Spiritual Whistleblower is a YouTuber who makes videos about narcissists. I mean, narcissist. I say it like that because this fine woman cannot pronounce the word narcissist to save her life. I don't know why. I don't know if she has a speech impediment. I don't know what's going on with that. I just think it's funny and it's it's, it's actually kind of cute that she can't pronounce the word narcissist correctly. It, you know, I guess it's kind of like like when a little kid tries, <laughs> tries to say spaghetti and they say paschetti, <laughs> you know, you just laugh or whatever. But anyway, it, it, she's super hypersensitive. She doesn't want anybody to say anything to her. You know, she, she's one of those types of people who you have to pretty much tread lightly with because she can't really handle, uh, I guess you could say, you know, when people joke around with her or, you know, when, when people say things that could even be remotely construed as basically being, you know, negative or antagonistic or whatever, she, you know, will blow it out of proportion because that's just her personality. I don't know what astrological sign this woman is or what, but I would love to know because I think that's really interesting. The fact that she's the type of person that you can't joke with. And I think a lot of it has to do with maybe her uh, allegedly possibly maybe ha having anxiety. I, I think that's what it is, you know, social anxiety to some degree or another, because this is YouTube. This is the Internet and dealing with all. All of these different personalities and whatnot and the fact that you know different people's abrasiveness and, and and whatever you know like we take little pieces of people with us just like when you have sex with somebody you take little bits and pieces of that person with you and i think that maybe that's what it is her interacting with people on social media you know it, it's like those things that they say, the things that people do kind of stick in her mind, you know, and that could be a good thing, you know, if you let good things stick, like the law of attraction and, you know, the shit that people talk about when it comes to money and stuff like that, you know, that could be, you know, something that could work to your advantage. But if you hold on to the negative, you know, the negative things that people say, the jokes that people leave, people who are trolls, then, you know. It, it, it could really, really bother a person to ruin their day depending on how incredibly sensitive that they are. But spiritual whistleblower is a 40 something year old woman. And, you know, I think that people look at her and they're like, well, she's mature enough to take a joke. She's like 40 something years old and she's on the Internet. You know what I mean? And, and she's here exposing narcissists, you know, putting out, you know, personal information about her exes and whatnot. So and I, when I say ex, I don't mean DMX because allegedly she never dated DMX. Allegedly, she worked for Double XL magazine, the famous hip hop magazine. And uh, um, allegedly their relationship was strictly professional, even though they looked like they were pretty close as if, you know, he was sticking that dog bone in her dog house. Allegedly, possibly, maybe. But she says that that's not what happened. But who knows? Because heifers lie all of the time. But anyway. Shout out to Spiritual Whistleblower. She has me blocked on my main channel because I told some jokes about her feet being big and stuff like that. But y'all you know, you know, I, I troll. Speaking of trolls, there's a lady named Tiffany M. Draper who happens to be a huge Kevin Samuels fan. That's her boy. That's her guy. You know, a lot of people have, you know, diehard fans. And apparently she's a really big Kevin Samuels fan or spiritual whistleblower would say that basically Tiffany M. Draper in, in her personal opinion is you know uh, Kevin Samuels groupie in so many words but if you go to Tiffany M. Draper's channel it says right there on her channel she has her, her Twitter logo her Facebook logo her Instagram logo and it says at Tiffany M. Draper that's the name that she uses I don't know whether or not that's her real quote government name or whatnot but and it says Tiff Trolls at Tiffany M. Draper. So she puts out a disclaimer and big bold letters on her channel stating to the world that she is a troll or somebody who goes around telling jokes. She's essentially an internet comedian. She's a performer. This is an act. So apparently the sister is a funny person who, you know, posts videos about different people. She has some stuff on her channel about Rashida Strober. Shout out to Rashida Strober. She has some stuff on her channel about spiritual whistleblower. Uh, if you don't know, first of all, I guess I should tell you Rashida Strober is the <laughs> dark skin act dark skin activist she talks about dark skin black women and their plight and whatnot what they have to deal with in society and and, and dating and relationships and whatnot from her perspective and her world her world view from her perspective and it's really it, it's spotty you know some of the stuff that she says on point is like that's right sister and a lot of it is like eh, what the hell are you talking about you know but shout out to Rashida I'm not gonna clown her I like Rashida I have with her the long way but here's the thing right 
A spiritual whistleblower is upset about Tiffany M. Draper making far too many videos about her. Apparently, according to spiritual whistleblower, Tiffany M. Draper made 25 videos in a month's worth time. Now she either contacted the police or is contacting the police about it. And she feels as if she's being cyber bullied and harassed by this young lady as opposed to somebody just, you know, telling jokes being funny. She feels as if this woman is just going way too far. She's dedicating too much of her time, too much of her life, you know, going at her. And I can understand how she could feel that way, but instead of threatening, you know, people to uh go to Tiffany's channel and go and report her like you did spiritual whistleblower, which is fucked up, instead of you doing that, instead of you going to the police and whatnot, maybe you should try reaching out to her and saying, look, I don't like you talking about me. I need you to stop talking about me because it's causing me anxiety or it caused me to lose money or, or whatever you faced, whatever you think you faced due to her speaking about you. But you have to understand something from all of our perspective, spiritual whistleblower. You make videos about narcissists or narcissist or whatever the fuck you be talking about. And you talk about your exes, people you actually fucking know, and you put out people's personal business. And that's fucked up. You talk about people all of the time. So, I mean, what what is so bad about what Tiffany said? Then again, maybe I missed something because I didn't see no damn 25 videos. Now, I did click on one, her most recent video, where I thought it was about spiritual whistleblower. And in fact, it was about Tiffany's interaction with her Indian friend. Listen, if she want to go get some curry cock, then shit, sis. Do what the fuck you got to do. You know what I mean? Listen, if you want him to align your chakras, then hey, sis, you know, get it how you live. Life is short. Go ahead and get some of them Indian inches. But why would you post spiritual whistleblower's picture as the thumbnail? I swore it was about to be by her fine ass. And uh, spiritual whistleblower, as, as annoying as she is, some of the things that she says are 100 million percent spot on. Now, some of the shit she says, I'm just like, what the fuck is she talking about? But I, I still keep watching because she's hot. But shout out to Spiritual Whistleblower. You know, I, I have mixed feelings about her ever since the beginning. Because first of all, the first thing attracted me to her about her channel, I saw that she was talking about Kevin Samuels and she was talking about narcissism. I said, this is interesting, you know, because I'm into shit like that. You know, I, I, I study narcissists and whatnot, and I've encountered too many of them in my lifetime. But I said, let me go ahead and see what this beautiful sister's talking about. And then she started saying shit that I just couldn't, you know, I couldn't agree with and whatnot. Not all of it. Just, just It's just like little bits of it where I was like, what the fuck is she talking about? Most, like I said, most of what she says is on point though but and, and also i was like wow she's like really pretty you know i'm team you know hashtag you know team pretty and i'm against the hashtag war on pretty so i had to go and click and see what the sister was talking about because she was fine but here's my thing though um she even took my joke so seriously that she had blocked me so i had to stop fucking with her you know what i mean like i was just joking about it. i said she got some big feet i said she was pretty but she got i said you know instead of you yelling at the camera about narcissists or whatever you know i it, you know she could have been spending like valentine's day with me out of rubbing in big feet you know what i'm saying like just joking just being silly just you know what i mean just yeah, y'all know i do you know trolling and shit but it's like don't take the internet so seriously sis you know what i mean it's not that serious, mama. You're over here acting like as if somebody's like coming after you like for real. Oh, wow. Somebody told some jokes on the fucking Internet. Like cut, cut it out. What if one of your exes wanted to sue your ass or get you arrested for narcissism, harassment or some shit because you talk all the time about them putting people's personal business out there, violating people's private information and shit, people's private rights to be narcissists. Leave narcissists alone, bitch. No, I'm just fucking job. I'm just joking with y'all. No, but seriously, uh, spiritual whistleblower, you should chill the fuck out. You don't need to be suing, or, or rather, pressing charges against Tiffany M. Draper because she said from the beginning she was a damn troll. I went to her channel just now and saw that shit and I screenshot and I put in this fucking video because I said, let me talk about this. And as far as this whole DMX thing, I jokingly said, uh, as my fucking self when I saw the pictures of her with DMX I was like oh yeah he's hitting that I didn't say it on my channel what I said was I was like yeah they used to date they used to go together and then I came back and I saw because I saw that spiritual whistleblower has said something on her community tab and I, I assumed it was because of what I said and what she had said was you know that she never dated DMX so I went and edited my posts 
and it, it was like my way of apologizing because you know i was i was trolling but when i saw that it it, it affected her because i don't fuck with dmx like that i like his music and everything but dmx you know um he robbed people he was violent a very dangerous person a, a fucking demon just my personal opinion it's just my opinion y'all can go ahead and get mad all you want i don't fucking care but the man identified as a dog and he was growling and weird shit but since he was a thug he gets to you know get away with being a fucking weirdo but the dude was growling and wearing chains and collars and shit and shitting on the floor you know what i mean scratching his nuts in public you know with a rake just weird shit allegedly allegedly, allegedly. but no i'm just fucking with y'all. no but seriously you know dmx is not the type of person that i want to speak up for i'm not wishing anything bad on him i wish that he would recover but i know he's not going to because they said something about being brain dead or some shit low brain activity for 30 minutes come on now bro ain't no fucking miracle in the world y'all the type of motherfuckers who believe that jesus was uh in a cave with a rock in front of the hole and then came out three days later because a lot of y'all are dumb y'all don't understand that those shits are fairy tales the bible is a fucking coloring book okay it's a coloring book for adults okay for the record so y'all go ahead and leave whatever you want dmx is dead he's gone he's not coming back i don't wish that on him it's just a fucking fact y'all can get mad all the fuck you want there's no such thing as miracles and y'all can pray but your praise prayers are null and void praying doesn't work you want to know what the fuck works getting money that's what the fuck works but anyways as far as see pr see praying and jesus and all other shit is for poor people but anyways long story short um tiffany m draper man listen tiffany m draper like if a spiritual whistleblower is gonna send this sister to jail uh she she listen I, I'm, I'm trying to tap before she go to jail you know what i'm saying otherwise she's gonna get a conjugal a cock a cocktail visit for me you dig like I, i'm trying to visit her you know what i'm saying I, I listen spiritual whistleblower she you know what i'm saying like i would ask her out on a date and shit like you know say we could watch i don't know like an anime movie together on live or some shit you know what i'm saying like i you know she was down but i i, I wanted to ask ask her out but i knew that she would say no and shit you know because like she had blocked me i said well that's a clear class sign i shouldn't have been joking around i i I wish I wouldn't have, you know, been trolling and shit because, you know, I fucked that up for myself because I think that we have some things in common. I think we're both the same type of crazy, but uh, I, I just don't complain about narcissists narcissist all the time shit. But anyways, um, yeah, Tiffany M. Draper could get this mean three and a half. Spiritual whistleblower could have got the mean three and a half, but she don't fuck with me. So it's cool. Whatever, sister. Um, They don't like each other, apparently. Tiffany M. Draper made some videos talking shit about the sister. Now she's talking about sending a half of the jail. That's fucked up. Listen, I got to go, y'all. Listen, um, Alicia Keys just posted a new picture of that pretty face. I got lotion. I got time. I'm about to go over there and handle my business. You dig? And um, thumbs up this video. Click the thumbs up button. Subscribe. Choose all notifications. All notifications. Uh, you can find me on social media with a host congregate. Meet Magazine on Twitter. Fuck Facebook in the ass. I don't fuck with Facebook. But on Twitter, Meet Magazine. Uh, Meet Magazine on yeah. Oh, YouTube and Twitter. Goddamn. Meet Magazine blog on Instagram because somebody have my motherfucking name before I get that motherfucking. So that's all that happened there. But anyways, uh, let me know what y'all think about it below. Who side do you want? Spiritual whistleblower? You team Tiffany? You team spiritual? Team Tiffany? I'm listen, listen. I'm on team Tiffany when it comes to this one because I don't think that YouTubers should be doing shit like this. It's like I was mad. Remember, I had stopped being a Cardi B fan for a while when she, you know, was talking about suing Tasha K or whatever the fuck. I was like, you gotta be kidding me. Come on, Cardi. Like me and Cardi, we we was good before that shit. We was Gucci. I mean, we cool now. I mean, we all right. You know, like she doesn't, you know, fuck with me the long way right now. But you know, when when I meet her and she cheats on Offset with me, that that then you know what I'm saying. But, but anyways, I gotta go, y'all. Thumbs up, comment, subscribe, choose all notifications. Say hi in the comments to let me know that you're engaged and I don't mean <laughs> engaged to a narcissist. Speaking of narcissists, the secret password to say in the comment section is narcissist, narcissism, narcotics, narcos, narc, anything with N-A-R-C will do, okay? Any word at all with N-A-R-C will do. Why? Because her favorite word is is narcissist <laughs> because she can't <laughs> oh, let, let me guess it, it's bullying to say that this chick can't pronounce the fucking word narcissist right get out of here come on now but shout out to the milf spiritual whistleblower mother i love to follow on social media well technically i'm not following her on social media like as far as like twitter or facebook instagram media that shit is concerned i follow her on youtube because i mean honestly she, she says a lot of real stuff sometimes you know she makes good videos her content is popping you know no matter how much of uh, <laughs> that i laugh at her ass you know she's she speaking facts most of the time you know what i mean and and anyway it is what it is y'all um i don't want to come across as a narcissist okay or a narcissist so i'm gonna go ahead and turn the motherfucking microphone off and shut the hell up uh thumbs
thumbs up comment subscribe choose all notifications and let me know what y'all think about it below maga